go. Crash and flow. Good to see you with your red shirt. Hey man, you know sometimes you gotta wear red. You look bigger, man. Well, thank you. Yeah, you've been taking creatine. I mean, you know, I think now I know what it feels like for a guy who takes steroid. Yeah. They'd be like, oh, you do steroids? Be like, bitch, I've been going to the gym. <laughs> you don't look steroids big. You look creatine. You're like, he's been doing something. Yo, man. This guy's been you're, you're hydrating. Gonna, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to, you're you going to, uh, you know, <laughs> attribute all of this hard work to like one supplement? No, no, you never. Know? It's like, no. what are you talking about? Oh, what I know. Hey, come on. You're going to, you're going to hurt yeah. your sweaters. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to stitch your sweaters back together, man? This is it. You know what? The reason I've been holding on to the sweater, I just keep thinking like, oh, this is not a nice enough event for me to, mm -hmm. you know, you just, I just hold on to clothes that way. Mm -hmm. I just wear the same sweatpants and old t-shirt. And like now I can barely fit in it. So I'm like, I might as well just wear it for a little bit. Hey, man. And then, uh, and then I don't know. No, you look, give it to you look like, person. yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll transition. You look like you could slap the shit out of a guy. <laughs> Somebody smaller than you, and you feel like you want to slap him. I might have to slap. If they call you bald, yeah. If they're like, "Hey, Yasin," oh, I can take that though. Yasin, you look like you could be GI Joe. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> keep my <laughs> keep my name out your fucking mouth. Said it twice. Twice. Loudly. Yeah. Hadn't said it before ever in his life. Yo, that was like watching someone you love slap someone else you love. Oh yeah. And then. You don't even know. I was so conflicted. Hmm. It happened. When it happened, um, the meme started hitting the internet mm -hmm. at like 1230. Oh, and I was already late <laughs> for my sleep. Like this was, I was well past my bedtime. Right. And then this happened. That'll wake you up. And that's it. I was up for an hour and 30 minutes just trying to scroll and learn more about this, you know, the situation. Yeah. Right. It's crazy. Missiles hits Ukraine. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh man, that's a shame. And I go yeah. to sleep easy yeah right not even not, not even, i can't even get past the the culling mine i'm already out will <laughs> smith slaps chris rock mm -hmm. i am up 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 oh i believe you my wife tried to tell me I'm like don't even she's like let me show you something will smith i'm like no 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 i'm going to bed i'll see it in the morning uh -huh. totally worth the, the video totally, you know sometimes you're like maybe they didn't it's not as bad it's yeah. not as bad yeah no this one was this one's horrible yeah oh man i've studied and thought and pondered upon this thing more than Almost anything. I know. In the last little while. The only, like, really? The, the la like, it was like jujitsu and then setting up a podcast studio. Mm -hmm. That much mental, like, strength mm -hmm. put into it. Those are the only two times. Oh, I then was, it was Will Smith. I was having a hard time not talking about it with, uh, I talked about it with work. Everyone. Work meetings. meetings. You, and, you and I called each other yeah. seven times oh, I know. The, the following day. Can't even, don't even know how to process uh, it. Here's, I felt like other people weren't taking it seriously enough. They should, yeah. I this was like, huge. you know, I was like, Mama, Mama Kupatena, Will Smith. <laughs> Watch this video. All right. So here, here's a couple thoughts. Mm -hmm. They're not in order, but here we go. Number one. Um, Did you, are you going to break down the, the slapping? I, I don't even know. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is not an essay. This it's is not coming come off in. the top of my head. Right. <laughs> Number okay. one. First of all, um, let's, just, let's just remember a couple years ago, Oscar was way too white for you to even show up. Right. And then now when you're nominated, Oscar is not so white anymore. Right. You know, now it's okay. Uh, well, they've, they've given, you know, Maharsha, they've, they went like, let's get. I don't even know I, if it, you know, I don't even know if it was because of that. Mm -hmm. We won't know for sure. Mm. But what I'm saying is that out of all the people to say that, mm -hmm. who gives a shit what Z Jada has to say? She's a, she's a shit actor. Yeah, she's I not don't that know great. That many movies. No, she's not. I mean, no. like she's B list at best. I don't want to talk about Jade. I want to talk about Will. Hold on a second. I'm gonna do this. This is the, this is a whole situation. <laughs> I okay? can tell. Go ahead, man. Right. Um. And then also, Will Smith's been failing at movies for a long for for a last little while. Okay. He gets a couple like pops off or whatnot. But we we did this exercise a while back before mm -hmm. he even assaulted, you know, one of the greatest stand up comedians ever. Um. We've been saying that Will has kind of like his movies don't have the same pop as it did mm -hmm. before, but that's okay. There's a social there's a social uh, contract that you sign uh, metaphorically when you show up to an event such as this and you're nominated and you sit in the front row. Mm -hmm. Is that there's a comedian on stage and they're going to roast some people in the front? Okay, you are people who are in now. That doesn't mean that your pain is not real and your mental uh, uh, health is not real. It doesn't mean any of those things are 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 not real. But you are the one percent of the one percent of the one percent, and this is the 
this is the time where you might get a little roasted and then you're going to come on stage and you're going to receive an award and everyone's going to give you an ovation. They're going to clap and whatnot. Everyone knows that's what it is. This is the social contract you sign. You go in, someone's going to roast you. A comedian's job is to kind of poke fun of all of the people who have been nominated. And that's that. All right. Now, Chris Rock's joke is a very mild joke. If you don't, and it's been confirmed that he didn't know that she had alopecia, and don't tell me that, oh, she, she should know. I'm pretty sure Chris Rock values his mental health, so he doesn't watch Red Tabletop. Didn't even write the joke. Didn't, I mean, apparently that's an up to contention based on new reports. I would that wish the said, greatest comedian wouldn't write such a shit joke. You know what? It's not even a joke, it's right? It's not even a joke. You are bald. And we can assume that this was a style choice. It's not like she's always had long, luscious locks and then now she has short hair. Mm -hmm. She'd been having short hair. Maybe not as short, but she'd been having short hair. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you're bald, therefore you could also be G.I. Jane or Furiosa for, for, the, for the new people who might not have watched G.I. Jane because it's such a dated ass joke. We're, We're called, nerds. Right? Furiosa, by the way, freaking awesome. Nonetheless, here's the thing. I don't understand how you gonna pop off. The joke itself was not that, w did not warrant any response close to the response that Will Smith re like reacted to. Mm -hmm. But this man got up after that. First of all, laughed at the joke first, right? Now you can chalk it up to oh the camera's on him, so that therefore he you know he's just trying to laugh for mm -hmm. the camera. Yeah, but if you thought it was a slappable offense, you wouldn't even mm -hmm. fake fucking laughing, bro. You laughed. You saw your wife rolled her eyes and you're like, I can't be a punk anymore. And he got up and he slapped Chris Rock. Um, and let's not say like some people are saying, oh, it's just a slap. It's not a punch. This is true. This is true. It's different. It's different. It's not a nuclear warhead. It's, it's just a bullet. It, there's different. No, there's different, slaps there's different are numbers. even worse. I would hate to get slapped. I would hate to punch get me and knock me out. Yeah. I, and yeah, then you can be sucker like, punched me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. wasn't even. I was hosting. Yeah. <laughs> Slap me, and now I gotta go back to hosting. That's so much harder, dude. Okay, and it's humiliated, humiliating to get to get slapped. He gets slapped, and immediately after the slap, he turns his back on Rock and walks off. Mm. He is that confident. There it will be no repercussion coming from that 150-pound scrawny-ass comedian. Nothing. Dude, do you know how sure you need to be? Like, to yo, slap somebody and, and then, just turn around? And turn around, walk away, and this guy doesn't even hit you with the microphone that's in his hand. He doesn't do anything. He'll just watch you do it because he knows. Mm. Let's say, let's, let, let, let's, let, everyone knows that Chris Rock, his narrative around his life and all this other stuff is that he's always been picked on everyone hates everyone hates chris and right, whatnot like right, right, right. this is who he is he's small and as a lot of comedians who maybe perhaps wouldn't be able not the biggest guys in the in the playground had to use like humor for them to be able to survive some of these rough neighborhoods and chris rock comes from the bronx so I mean, yo, you, you slapping, not only are you slapping presumably your friend because you guys been in, in the highest echelon of black entertainment. Known each other probably like 15 years. 15 years, right? You slap your friend, right? And then walk off and you know that he's got to hold that L because he's mm. not going to do anything. Yeah. Yo, if, if, if the power dynamic was, was so crazy in the first place, you could have just yelled at him yeah. and you would have gotten, I mean, it still would have been wild, mm -hmm. right? And here's the other thing. Okay, I'll stop there. I'll stop there for now. What do you think? About the <laughs> I don't know. I'm not even there, dude. Right. For me, it's just watching Will Smith yeah. and being like, what would Uncle Phil say? Dude, Uncle yeah. Phil is dead. Yeah. He's upstairs. I'm sad. Yeah. I'm sad for everybody. I'm Yo, sad Uncle for... Phil would not stand for you slapping your own brethren. No. No. In front in front That's of That's your everyone. cousin, in a way. Yeah. You've known this guy. Yeah. You guys, both of you are black royalty. 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 Yep. Unequivocally. Yeah, exactly. You're literally R Mount Rushmore's. M Mount Rushmore's. To speak on that matter, mm. for almost all of Will Smith's career, mm. he was unfuckwithable. Mm. And what does that mean? Is this you can't make fun at a uh, you can't make fun of a guy like Will Smith mm -hmm. when you've been winning. The biggest thing that you could say about Will Smith was that, haha, he was in Wild Wild West. Yeah, that was the worst thing on him before this that, was that. Before Jada 
sat at that accursed red table, Jesus, yeah. the only thing that you could clown Will Smith about was that he did Wild Wild West, which, by the way, mm-hmm. if you watch it now, it's kind of fun. There's a lot of movies that are just kind of like that. It's if kind you of look fun. back at them. Yeah, exactly. That's all. What? Getting now jiggy this. with it? When you hear <laughs> jiggy with it at any place, you start tapping your you, feet. You start you, kind of moving a little you bit. You can't even dance. It. You're like, yeah, this song was good. Right. It was good. Mm-hmm. It is good. That's the only thing you could do. Because you know why? Will Smith was literally the pinnacle of cool. Yeah. Okay? This guy is taking a, a, a suit jacket for school uniform, flips it inside out. And that actually becomes a thing where people can buy. You got, you got the lining on the outside, and he made that cool. Will Smith was the epitome. We grew up with him. People wanted to be like him. He was awesome. And especially people like not black, but a different immigrant, like from a different uh, background. We got to tie ourselves to something. Mm-hmm. So many of our brown people tied themselves to like Will. Yeah, he's one of us. He and was on Indian Idol. He went to India and he was on India Idol right. once. Is that? That's right. And then, gross. And then, Jada has this this talk show. Mm-hmm. The talk show itself is a little trifling, but whatever, right? She's doing her own thing. You're doing your own thing, right? All right, you get cooked out a little bit. Whatever, it's fine. But this is the problem. In his Oscar uh, winning uh, speech, which, by the way, amazing that they didn't kick him out or anything like that. Yeah. Um, and they still give him a freaking <laughs> award. In that, he says two things. One, he said, like King Richard, uh, the father of, uh, of, of the, 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 the sisters, mm-hmm. um, uh, Williams, uh, you know, I protect my family, something along the lines of that. Mm-hmm. Which, by the way, Richard, uh, like the, 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 the father did say, like, hey, we don't condone any violence whatsoever. So basically kind of say, like, don't use my name in trying yeah. to make this hey man, whatever you, you're doing. You okay. slap somebody on yeah, TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I coached two girls and a tennis champion. <laughs> right. I mean, I, yeah. So this is not the same thing. Please keep keep my, my name yeah. out of your mouth. Yeah. Um, and the other thing is, is like in this industry, you know, people talk crazy about you. And you need to be okay with it. Mm-hmm. Will Smith, you sign off on the videos of you sitting across your wife while your wife wax poetic about sleeping with one of your son's friends. Mm-hmm. Right? Talks about grooming this person who has a mental health issue and a substance uh, abuse issue. Mm-hmm. Heals them. And then starts sleeping with him. And then she's actually looking in his eyes and saying, it was so long that I didn't feel good good mm. and will smith is like this slightly cocked and he's like mm. just taking it mm. just it was been a long time that i haven't i didn't feel good so i got into a entanglement mm. yo your language tells us that you don't even want to take any responsibility for whatever you've done right and she's sitting over there all whimsical with her like her 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 legs crossed super relaxed and will smith looking like he's gripping the hand like the <laughs> the armrest just yeah, holding man. for bare life and then, it's not like your wife forced you to f- post this stuff up. That was the part. I was you, like, ah. And you sign off of posting it. That's the problem, Will. When, when, when you are in... You, it's not like it was a conversation you had and someone had a, like a hidden recording and then after they posted behind your back. Bro, you have control over what you release to people. And what is this big push about you having to share everything? Yo, some transparency is not required Hmm. some of this shit you keep to yourself my friend we don't need to know any of this stuff yeah i wonder what happened there hey man i'm really close to you there's There's some shit that i'm kind of ashamed of i'm not gonna be like hey dude on this podcast we're gonna (laughs) yeah (laughs) i have no idea how because you could tell he was hurting with that i don't think it was in his control dude dude. i don't think it was in his control at all you don't think that he would like his wife the whole time his wife is that like influential in that relationship that she's she's, like i think take it she's got like some a doll of a little dude with a high top with big ears. Yo, after that, that was bad enough. That was hella that was crazy. The worst. This is what he turned. I mean, this is the that, only that other thing. That was it. Yeah. That was it. It's huge, and and as a result, everyone for the last like I don't know three years or something been clowning him, been talking shit about him, been talking whatever, and it seems that it's just slowly killing Will, mm-hmm. and it's for whatever reason just bouncing off of Jada. No man, it gave her alopecia, dude. You're... I don't think I. You know what? I think that's a that's a genetic uh, th- disease. I don't think it's one that I just gets know. from stress. That being no said, idea. if you're gonna get stressed from all of this stuff, mm-hmm. right? Hey, maybe you stop sharing some of this stuff. 
this is what I'm saying. No one's putting a gun to your head and being like, yo, tell me about your open marriage or this yeah. weird whatever on this YouTube. is. On YouTube. It's yeah. not even like a thing I'm... It's not even on YouTube, it's just for... say it. It's on Facebook. Wow. <laughs> How lazy is that? Yo, so you can't say that, oh, all these people talking shit about me and I have to be okay with it. Bro, you have to be okay with it. You been releasing it you've been providing everyone with the ammunition and then when you're getting shot by these memes you're like where are these coming from yo these are, dude these are some really heartfelt memes. like they're good memes though oh the great memes you know there's so many of my them. favorite one is jada saying i'm still not impressed Pac would have killed him <laughs> speaking of Pac, no after yeah she does all of that to him on on tv right right with that interview on the red tabletop she starts reading Poet, poems that Tupac had sent her mm. on IG Live. Bro. Yo, that's a little disrespectful. Well, I'm not saying that you should throw away the poems. No, that you Pac, should not. I'm not, saying that, I'm not saying that you shouldn't read it from time to time when mm -hmm. you feel down. I'm not saying any of those things. Mm -hmm. What I am saying is don't read the poems from the guy that your wife openly said on the bref breakfast clubs, breakfast club, I was, I am insecure mm -hmm. about the amount of love that they had between the two of them. And I feel like I'm insecure. I'm jealous about that. Mm. He been saying that. And then you're going to go and read poems that he sent you. Now, I don't recall of them being like true, like love poems to Jada. Mm -hmm. But come on, man. I know, man. We all know. I mean, it would have been bad enough if she was just singing along to Pac songs that on IG. That's going to be like a more of a side thing. This one, you're like, he hand wrote this, wrote yep. this and send it to you. And now you're reading it and be like, look how beautiful it is. Hey, man, you punking your husband right now. Openly. Oh, but he's talked about it openly. You yeah. know what you're doing. Yeah. If your husband says that, if I had a husband. Yes. He don't read the poems of their formal no. lover. No. Former. Person's passed away. Yeah, let it. Let it go. This what? is just for you to know this is fucking with your husband. That person's not even there. We <laughs> yeah. all know what's happening. Goddamn, dude. And so Will had enough. Yeah, man. And that, that mediocre joke, uh, that wasn't even a joke. It wasn't really all that funny. Even if you look at it from a joke writing, joke writing point of view, it was just an observation. Hey, you bald. This other person's bald. And we're waiting for number two. <laughs> And this man joke. gets so, 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 so slapped. And you can, and you can hear it because he's mic'd up so well. Yeah. You so hear like, the whole slap. <laughs> you hear the whole slap. Chris Rock can take a slap, though. He can take a slap, though. Oh, my Lord. He, he uh, slinkies with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woof. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah. No, it was good. Oh, my God. He, he took it. Yep. Took it like a man. You could, you could tell by the way he was leaning. He, didn't, he knew something was about to happen. Like, this guy's going to jostle with Yeah, me. yeah, yeah. Maybe but, just like, you know, play fight a bit. I right. thought that's what was happening, yeah, right? Yeah, you know, I'd be yeah. like, ha, I get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Woo. Yeah. What do you say? Yo. I just... Will Smith just slapped the shit out of me. <laughs> he Yo, like, you see he him like... stumble? Where he's like, we're here to give out a documentary. I mean, an award for a documentary. Oh, Dude, he, it was, I felt so bad for him. Like, he, yo, yo, you just got slapped. I, the, the repercussions of this I know. is ridiculous. Everyone that knows was, about this. Everyone knows the, about this. Every, Putin knows about this. Putin knows about this, too. <laughs> There was a there was a momentary ceasefire mm -hmm. when no one was shooting at no one yeah. in Ukraine and between Ukraine and Russia yep. because everyone was on their phones and they were looking at Will Smith slapping Chris Rock. Oh, dude! If <laughs> aliens are just mildly observing Earth, they're like, "Hey, everything seems to be going this way. <laughs> What's this about?" Di Jane. <laughs> That's what aliens are thinking. Right? They're like, uh, "Go back to the mainframe. Find out what this movie's about." What is this? <laughs> Is this worth a slap in this world? This is an interesting planet. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. So here's the thing, right? Mm. So uh, they're saying that they made peace or whatnot. It's mm. fake. They did not make no peace. Way. That's what publicists would put but, out there. But here's the thing. Also, like, Will Smith didn't write that. Publicists wrote it and, and, and mm -hmm. be like, hey, can't, we're going to post this on your IG, okay? Because this is hella looking bad. Have you seen the memes? Oh, my God. The memes are horrible and great and beautiful at the same time. I freaking love it. Uh, he did the exact opposite. That this the whole plan backfired, mm -hmm. right? If you wanted to ensure that people would keep your wife and your relationships and everything else about the Smith family mm -hmm. out of people's mouths, you just gave it a like a force multiplier by like a million. He should just put a picture of Chris Rock up and be like, "I'm sorry, Chris. <laughs> this is Jada's fault. 
<laughs> I'm going to shave my head as an apology. <sighs> and then just... So if you're Chris Rock, right? Mm-hmm. And Will Smith says, hey, man, I'm really sorry. I overreacted, mm. right? Um, what, what, what apology do you require for you to think that this is okay? This, I would say this. Will, I'm doing a show on April 1st. Yeah. You come out, I'm going to slap the shit That's out of you. That's what I'm talking about. I'm going to slap the shit out of you. That's exactly what I'm everybody. talking about. <laughs> I'm going to have all the cameras there. All of them. And Jada's got to be there. Yes. And then it's the same. Then it's the same. <laughs> then it's, then the, it's same. the same. It's exactly the same. That's it. That's the only way. Yeah. And then in between the time that it takes before before the show happens, mm-hmm. I want Chris Rock to go to Russia, mm-hmm. right? Okay. And then learn how to slap right. from the greatest <laughs> slappers in the yeah. world. He's gonna make up for a size differential. <laughs> he's gotta he's gotta practice <laughs> on like a wooden dummy. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> oh man, this should be just a Netflix Netflix docu series of just Chris Rock. Just you know, he's moving up the ranks of learning how to slap. Dude. First, he slaps foam. Yep. Then he then he slaps a padded like a, a a punching bag. Then you know he goes to China. Yeah. Or Japan. I don't know which one uses the wood uh, thing. I think it's China. China. Yeah. China. And then you take the and then he starts slapping Slap wood. It. Yep. Then he goes to to Thailand. Starts slapping trees, rubber trees. Yeah. 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 Yep. Or like just like banana trees. Yep. And whatnot. And then comes back, and, and then slaps the shit slapped, out of Will Smith. The, Will Smith Will is Smith. forever left with the handprint <laughs> that he never saw. He just thought he was going to get slapped by a smaller guy. Yeah, he's Boom. looking like an orc from uh, from Lord of the Rings. He looks like Sylvester Stallone's jaw is just messed up, just just a little crooked, just a little off. Wins another Oscar for you best Sling slap. Blade. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the only way when you can say you you want even Steven? Mm. You want even Steven? I'll slap you on 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 uh, on TV as well. That's that's even Steven. That's even. Then Steven. we're like, yeah, we we are cool. Yeah, we are cool. Next Oscars, I'll see. You. Yeah. Uh, that's too far away. I too would have to slap you, to you in a week. Yeah, yeah, yeah a week yeah, or yeah. two. Yeah, yeah. Because then that's be a, that'd be the new memes, and then we're we're good. Yeah. Yep. Oh boy, dude, Fresh Prince of Bel Air. This is the pro. The like you know the sharpest of the double edged swords of, yeah. of Will Smith. Yeah, this show gave him everything, but also this woman. Yeah, all at once. Yeah. So, uh, you, you know, he was married before he met her. Maybe right? I, I think so. Yeah, yeah he was I'm not all up in their business. All right, yeah, I'm not yeah, trying yeah. to get slapped out here. <laughs> hey man, yo. So I'm working out at the gym. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, there's a there's a girl that's working out there, mm-hmm. and. Uh, she's she's hitting pads, so she's learning how to box, mm-hmm. right? I mean, you know, and and I start noticing, like the sounds she's making when she's hitting it. Mm-mm. Those are hard hits. Yeah, she's she's hitting them like you know, this is a, there was a breakup or something. Mm-hmm. At mm-hmm. first, like a couple weeks ago, when she was hitting them, I was like, oh, that's nice. She's she's having a cardio workout. Right. Last couple of days, when I've seen her, she's I was like, through something. Yeah, <laughs> she's, like, she's getting, she's coming through something. Hey man, she's hitting those things really hard. We're hitting. I'm here. Bop, 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 bop. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so much so mm-hmm. that I went up to the guy and be like, "Hey man, you want to train me after like the fasting month?" Yeah. Because here, I'll tell you this: if that girl hit punch me, yeah, that's gonna hurt. Yeah. You want Chris? Chris Rock should be there. So what I'm saying is this, right? Yeah. When you're small, people gonna punk you. Mm-hmm. That's the way how it is. The law of the jungle. Big dudes don't get. That many people just walking up to them trying to like mess with them because he's bigger. Yeah. That's easy. Almost That's... no matter what they do. Yes, exactly. So the thing is, is that when you don't have like big muscles or whatnot, mm-hmm. because of course, if it was The Rock that made that joke, Will Smith is not slapping nobody. Nobody. Will Smith is laughing, looking over. And be like, and then Jada, learn... you better laugh too. Yeah. And Jada's <laughs> laughing. She's like, ha, 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 ha. I'm not saying nothing. Because he's J.I. Joe. Yeah. Also, here's the other thing. I was just thinking about this other thing. You know what, what's the, the comic that scares me the most for some reason? I think it would be Joe Rogan. I mean, Joe Rogan, definitely. Is this somebody else who'd bite you? Uh, no, it's uh, um, uh, Godfrey. Mm. Okay. I don't think he has a mean bone, though. Wait, what do we, which Godfrey are we talking about? Not Gilbert Godfrey, the, the no, big not- Nigerian dude. Yeah, the big Nigerian. But he seems so nice. Bro. I, I, think, no, I don't I think, think you're hitting him, but... Yeah, I, I don't think anyone's hitting that guy. No, no. He scares yeah. me. I no, think we've no. seen him live. He's very big. Oh, my God. Super muscular. <laughs> I mean, Chris Rock is actually in the mind. If you just so think of small. who you could slap. Yeah. And you know what? If you had me make the list the night before, I don't... I know he might be on there, but I was like, there's no way Will Smith slapping anybody. Yeah. 
And uh, when you think about it, like, oh, yeah, just him and Kevin Hart, maybe. Yeah. Kevin Hart, probably not. I don't think so, man. But I, I couldn't Kevin. have thought Chris Rock either. Yeah, that's, that's what's true. so tough. That's true. So anyway, Chris Rock needs to start doing some actual, yeah. like, strike training. And then let it be known that he could, like, he... He needs to knock a bird out of the air at a thing. Or you can just do what Wiz Khalifa did. Wiz what Khalifa posted a picture of him with like Muay Thai gloves. Right. Uh, and dude looking freaking shredded. Right. You're right. You can just post like some pe- just slapping bags yeah. or punching bags or kicking something. That's all, you need. That's all you need. That's all you need. Man. But they are, yeah. Uh, Chris Rock, here's the, here's the thing I'll, I'll, I'll say to you, my friend. Uh, you have, you, you're a man of means. Mm-hmm. Plenty of money available. And perhaps like fighting is not really something that you want to do or whatnot, but hey, man, you could have invested in some of this, yeah. right? Because if you're out there just like, you know, you got to do something. You got to, you got that's a gap. It's a, uh, I mean, not, it's not that you need him to jump on Will Smith's back and like monkey co- choke yeah, him, yeah. but <laughs> y- you need t- for people to know that, hey, if I go up there and slap this guy, yeah. he's not just going to stand there and let me walk back slowly. All right. So Chris Rock's. Um, Chris Rock's defense mm-hmm. is equivalent to the dodo bird of Mauritius. Okay. okay. I didn't even know about this. Now, you know why they say that dude's a dodo, mm. right? It's, it's like dumb. And the reason being is that the dodos didn't even know that there was animals that were, that were going to eat them, mm. right? Because these, uh, I think it was some sort of weasel or something that came on the boats mm-hmm. with the with the French or the colonizers. Mm-hmm. And they just they when they landed on Mauritius, like all of these vermin that came from the boat also just uh, like infested the island. Mm-hmm. And those guys were like the they were eating all of the eggs mm-hmm. and they were probably like attacking the bird as well. And the bird didn't know to run. Mm-hmm. Right? It doesn't even know. I think he also didn't even know that humans it may, like humans were a problem either. They just didn't know. Jeez. It's a dumb bird. This this bird was ready to go. Not, yeah, he was he was on his way out. Yeah, he was on his way out. Um, Chris Rock's defense mm-hmm. was the equivalent of the, of the dodo bird. Mm-hmm. Hey man, you just said a joke about your uh, the wife. He knows that it was like she rolled her eyes. He's like, hey, that was a nice one. And then what's with the Yo, you got to take one step back and put two hands and be like, hey, 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 hey. So at least. Like, if you do this, yeah. he has to slap through your hands. All right. So if I had to, like, pause at that moment, and I'd say, hey, okay, Yasin, mm-hmm. he, he's gotten up three steps in, you know, give me a percentage of what are the things that might happen. All right. True. W- 98% w- Will Smith is just joshing with him. That's yeah, it. That's about what 90, I think. Almost in a, I almost feel like in the next universe, he didn't slap him. <laughs> this universe is the one that they're like, you know what happened in that universe? Will Smith has slapped Chris Rock. You're like, really? <laughs> right? I yeah, didn't think right. he was going to slap him till he slapped him. 99.9% that he was just going to joke. Yeah, yeah but I right. agree. You're right. I ag- kind of agree, but Chris Rock also knows jokes, and he's like, really, that? Yeah. That. Yeah. He did, That's what I think for Chris Rock was that he didn't think he was going to get slapped for that one. Yeah. Ricky Gervais called Leonardo DiCaprio a pedophile. Yeah. I saw it. Yeah. You know what? Leo did. Nobody, Leo's lady did not go up and say, <laughs> I'm not a boy or whatever. I don't yeah. Know. Get my Leo, Leo, Leo just you know claps like, and that's well, it. Well, I go. mean, it's a different thing altogether. But geez, hey man, almost who else would have slapped Chris Rock for that? You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody. No way. Tom Cruise, nobody. No. He could have said anything about Nicole Kidman or Kate Holmes or Tom Cruise. <laughs> laugh with a stupid Tom Cruise. Tom, Cruise, Tom laugh. Cruise is like, I'm gonna go in the spaceship with the yeah. aliens, baby. <laughs> <I don't laughs> like, it's okay. I'll kill him later. <laughs> Go back in time, <laughs> right? Just invite him to be on Mission Impossible Seven, and then have a stunt uh, problem. Yep, mm. Tom Cruise style. Also, Will Smith was a uh, was a was a Scientologist, right? I think he was involved, yeah, but yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, Maybe he just donated a little bit, just help his career out a bit. It seems that everyone does that too. Michael Piena, mm. P E N A, yeah, Pena. Uh, he's also uh, uh, a known uh, Scientologist. That's really rare as a Mexican, right? Right. They're like, hey, I'm man, a little on. disappointed. You're Mexican. Yeah. They asked him about it, and he's like, you know, it just helps me organize my life. That's a weird thing about a, I guess, you know, that's not what you say about religions or, you know, whatever. Hey, man, is. just write that shit down in a notebook. <laughs> yeah. I have a, you know, system to organize my life. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to believe in aliens and midichlorians and, oh, that's Star Wars. But, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, wait, it is Star Wars. <laughs> Well, that guy was a science fiction writer, and he couldn't have wrote Will Smith slapping Chris Rock. So <clears> no, that, just... that would have been too much for him. He would write it and be like, you know what? I've gone too far. 
I'm sure like Carlton must have like Jazzy Jeff Meisig must have given him a shout. He's like, I I agree, you know, like you did the right thing. Of course. There's gonna be plenty of but you know, you don't think you know people what it are, is? Yeah, actually yeah, no. I might even this be. This is what I think. I yeah. think Jazzy Jeff yeah. is like I knew like he's like I know this woman's a horrible influence yeah, on my yeah, friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I true. can't say anything. Can't say nothing. I bet you everybody's around Will Smith. Yeah. It just feels bad for Will Smith. Hey man, it is it is it's it's so blatantly obvious. Yeah. He's hurting. It's so blatantly obvious. He's hurting and he's slapping the shit out of Chris Rock on national television. Amen. So much so that like the TV censors, you're yeah. like, wait, what happened? What do we have to cut? You know? It was so much. And the, I love the Japanese. They're like, we cut for nothing. Mm. We continue to oh. we continue to translate as well. Did you like that was the, right. the first like uncut? <laughs> and that lady was like, she was stammering, but she still made her way through. Wow. And then when he starts when he starts yelling about the wife stuff, she's like, okay, I'm pretty sure he's swearing. Whoa. Wait, yep. no, of course she's she's a translator. But. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She knows. She knows English, dude. She's not she's not guessing from what's happening. You thought she was just ballparking what she's seeing? Okay, black man number one has slapped black man number two. No, no. I think she knows who they are. I think she has a very good idea. I think she's a translator. Oh my god. I think god. she speaks better English than you do. <laughs> I think so. I think so. <laughs> no. Anyway. Yeah, that rocked my world, my friend. I mean, I don't even know how you come back. Chris Rock, you know, of course, I'm glad he's back. He's doing a stand-up, you know. It's yeah. oh, it's, it's going to just start getting behind you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're going to have to come up with some great material off yeah, of it. Yeah. Will Smith, I don't know how or when. Yeah. I mean, you're kind of... You're kind of done in the light you were in before. Well, you know, he still gets a standing ovation in Oscars, but that doesn't count because it's such a bubble, right? He's yeah, in, in the Hollywood bubble. Everyone's just like, yeah. yeah. He'd have to make an sh- amazing movie. I don't think he has it in him. To uh, get back in in terms of winning. But like, uh, yeah. I think, yeah, I think this is a sitting well. Uh, man. You can't slap people. Yeah. Yeah. You, you need to control yourself, my friend. If the, if there was ever going to be a guy that should have, that should uh, go the pathway of, um, what's his name? Adrian Brody. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I'm just trying to help you, bro. No, no, no. It's fair enough. Um, It is a white guy. Uh, He doesn't act anymore. He's comedian. He's British. He's British. Now he's a commentator on YouTube. Mm. A very good commentator on on current affairs on YouTube. Russell Brand. Thank you, Russell Brand. Right? Mm -hmm. He needs to break up with his wife. Break up with everyone. Right. Right? And then, like, go on a walkabout. Mm. You know? Right. And then when you come back, you become friends with only Russell Brand. Yeah. As he's, like, dealt with multiple demons. Right, right, right. Right? And then you just... You know, that's it. That's your full reset. You know, that's that's something Will Smith would do. He's like, I went to the top of a volcano and I sat down for three months. Yeah. And I I only ate water and honey. Yeah. And, and also, I don't want to hear a single word about this guy being like, it's my responsibility to make myself happy. But yeah. it's not, this, this is not, this is a horrible Will Smith. But it's not <laughs> my responsibility. <laughs> it's not my responsibility <laughs> to make my wife happy. And they're all of this like, <clears throat> Yeah. preaching around what it's like to be in a healthy relationship. Mm-hmm. Yo, I don't want to hear that shit. No. That's the same thing about Noman Ali Khan. We don't want to hear you talking about relationships. Right. Right? You, you lost that card. Oh, absolutely. You blew that card up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to ever see in my life, mm-hmm. con- onwards, any imam mm-hmm. taking a selfie, flexing. No. Even if he took the picture for himself. Right. Just to, so he could be like, ah, this is a progress picture. Mm-hmm. I don't want to see that shit leaked. This is not this is not how I view my moms. No. My moms go to sleep and wake up and they're in a thobe yep. all the time. They're praying on time. That's it. And not lifting anything. That's it. I can I can I no, I don't need to see If I saw your biceps is it hudge? Is no. it umrah? I want your beard to be so big. Yes. Covers some of it. Yep. Down to your abs. Oh my god. Cover your whole aura. Yo, that guy is a fool too. Who? No man Ali Khan or Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he could get slapped, man. Oh, he there's some things you do deserve a slap for. That's the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the problem with society right now. Right. Is if you can get slapped for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's too much. It, like, yeah, we need a we need like a slap uh, mediator. That's what I'm most upset about because there are things people should get slapped about, and mm-hmm. once you draw, start here, yeah. now you can't slap about anything. Exactly. Or you're slapping at about everyone. everything. Everyone. So where are we? Everyone. You right. know who are we? For sure. Why? You know. I so uh, I guess the resolution of this podcast is that we should. We should try to facilitate some people slapping Norman Ali Khan. When I was growing up in Houston, there was a saying. When somebody would do something stupid, somebody would say, that's a slap. 
And then you would get to slap that person. I see. Or something did something stupid, you can just slap them. Right. And back of head or face? Definitely the back of the neck or the face. Yeah, I'm okay with back of head. It's painful. It is. It is. I've I've been like like head slapped. Yeah, I've been head slapped quite Umar a bit. Ali Khan. Yes. Yeah. The picture is hilarious, by the way. It's so bad. Eh? It's so funny. <laughs> his game is so horrible too. <laughs> his game his game is every 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 brown man. Oh, it's yeah, it is. It's so like it's so uh friggin' pedestrian standard yeah. <laughs> transactional brown just guy. Hello, baby. Not With even a brown beans. guy. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Weak. He's, yeah, weak. Weak. Weak ass energy. Weak ass energy. Get out of here. Oh my god. You know, be I mean, I don't know how I, yeah, okay. <laughs> I was just like, can we get Will Smith to slap him? Obviously, he's good at it. Will Smith's going to have to, like, turn this around with a slap somehow. Yeah. Like, he's going to have to stop a crime with the slap. <laughs> like, we hadn't wor- heard from Will Smith for four years. There was a robbery in L.A., and a baby was hostage, and then Will Smith slapped the shit out of it. Uh, he pooped immediately upon impact. You know, and, and they, they got there on site, the, the reporters did, and he was crying, bawling on the floor, because he said that never, he had sworn never to slap ever again. <laughs> ever. But he had to walk back on that promise to save, to this save a life. baby. <laughs> Today, Will Smith killed Juan Miranda's Jermaine, who was stealing this. I mean, murdered really, a guy. Really, okay. You killed a guy. I mean, it's super accurate. Yeah. You went you went for like first name, last name. Oh, I know. First name, middle name, last name. I know. I mean, like, <laughs> what did Juan do to you, bro? Seems like in LA, you know. It's yeah, a rough, fair enough. It's a Yo, they've been... Have you been seeing the people just running up on, in stores, just grabbing shit and walking out? It's so funny because it's so like easy. You know, like, it's so easy to do that. I'm yeah. like, wow, they're doing it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, who does that? Just coming in and taking things and leaving? Dude, it's insane out there. That's crazy. Also, I saw I saw uh, like updated pictures of the homeless situation in in in. Uh, I just I just typed it in. I was like, all right, let me. What? How? How bad is it in L.A.? Mm-hmm. Dude, it's bad. Yeah. Yeah, man. I'm 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 like the the. It's like the, the they make the most money, don't they? Isn't that 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 state makes the most know. money out so. of? Uh, but they in, have in like a lot of taxes and all that. Stuff. It's like here, like the cost of living is like, hey, you want? Yeah, but I think that state out makes money compared to like actual countries. So, but like when that happens, it just means things are more expensive because people can afford it there. So if mm. you can't, aff- it's just very easy to like fall off that. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And so the divide in between like people, the haves and have nots, is you gigantic. You want a huge middle class. You yeah. don't want a, a big upper class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's, uh, it's, I, I don't know anything. I don't, I, don't, I don't know anything either. <laughs> I'm like, why are you asking me about economics? Do they make the most money? I'm like, are you talking about numbers? I'm talking about feelings, mother. Fair Get enough. over here with your feelings, homie. Fair enough, fair enough. You know, I just, I was just, I was just surprised right. because you think America, mm. you know, especially California, like LA, right. Yeah. right? I mean, I know the bloods and the crips and whatnot, mm-hmm. but like, I just thought that it was like, that was, and it's, it's like pockets. 10 blocks. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right? It's 10 blocks. The rest of it is fine. It's Hollywood. It's, it's uh, all, the, where are all those rich people? Where's people Malibu? Stealing food. Bro. Bro. It's insane. Not even TV is like a riot, you know? Yeah. But then there's also people who are just walking into Balenciaga and just yeah. dunking all that shit. Well, yeah, that's just somebody who's like willing to push their their luck. Yeah, well, there's plenty of people trying to push their luck over there. Tiffany's has like a security person, like a big person with gloves on. Mm-hmm. Like you come in here, I must. I mean, I'm they're running in like ten deep. I'm gonna grab one. Yeah, I guess so. I'm gonna grab one. Yeah. Okay. Or none. It's one or none. Yeah. I mean, you're you're a security guard, right? I guess. It's uh, no, no. I mean to say, in this particular okay, instance, yeah, you're sure. a security guard. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, like you're really just there so that people don't do anything. Mm. But if the decision has already been made to do something, mm-hmm. yo, you gonna? What are you gonna do, bro? Right. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna call somebody. Yeah. And be like, head office. <laughs> They're doing it. Like, what are you just doing call about? The I'm calling you. Call the cops. Call the cops. By the time the cops come. No, no, they can't do anything, and away we go. It's fine. Yeah. What are you? What are you gonna do? I, I might grab the smallest person though. Yeah, just to be like that way. I hold my job. I can't not grab anything. Fair enough. Yeah, you have to do something. Right. Yeah, you gotta yeah. make sure that you do it right though, because like, yeah, you, you know, if you try to grab someone, yeah. and then he's quick, and oh, then I you know. stumble over and you fall, that you goes up on you too. That, that's a good point. It's like I would only be able to do something if it was a guy. If it was a lady, and then she's like, ah, you hurt me. Yeah. I was like, oh, I'm letting go. Right, like, right, right, you, right. You go. Take this. Take that. I don't even care about that. 
because I didn't uh, mean it. Yeah, I couldn't even hurt a lady. If they're all just skinny women, yeah. you're like, ah. Uh, <laughs> Oof, geez, ladies, don't. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Or you just hold two wrists. That's why you need a female security guard, too. Just right. start just pushing these women over <laughs> and not give two shits about gender equality. Because I'm like, my mom didn't raise me this way. You know? There's a woman just just hitting them with bags. Ladies, I'm sorry. Guard. Just hearing slaps in the background. Yep. Yeah, okay, it's a two-person job. Two-person job, I think yeah. so. Yeah, yeah. Plus, I mean, you know, if it's a bunch of dudes, the girl, you know, the, the secu- your female yeah. security guard will just be like, hey, back up. Back up. Yeah, You're you going to go to jail forever well. yeah. if you touch me. <laughs> I'm going to say all sorts of shit. Yeah. I'm Tiffany. Man. Well, anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That is the end of that segment, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> just like, <that's... clears throat> I, got, I got another thing. <clears throat> What's up? Okay, uh, this, 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 this won't, this will only make you happy because it makes me happy, but it's not going to do anything for you. Toyota is releasing a Toyota Corolla, mm. which is, uh, but it's like this GR trim Corolla, super fast, all wheel drive, very happy. It's manual. So really when we thought that, you know, maybe the sports car, like the small affordable sports car market was dying mm-hmm. off, Toyota is out here just injecting it. They were just giving us cars, Jeez. um, which is amazing because like, uh, they released another car. It was crazy. Uh, crazy fast, not available in New York, uh, in North America, and the reason being is that they just needed to make this car so that they could they could compete in rally. Mm-hmm. So c- certain things require a homolog- homologation car, which essentially means that the car that you use to rally needs to be a car that you sell to the public, Jeez. and you use the same platform and then build out a race car based on the platform that you sell to the to to, to the public. Mm-hmm. So they didn't have one that would be suited for rally racing, so they made the car just so that they could enter into Rally, which is amazing, right? So anyway, it was a big splash. Everyone wanted the car uh, in North America. No one got it. There was big petitions, and now, we get, well, now we're getting a Corolla. Who knew? Petitions fucking worked, right? Yeah. And, so, uh, and so, yeah, I'm happy about this, but I was thinking about something. Um, you know, when those cars at that trim level, you don't test drive those cars, generally speaking, right? Uh, it's an enthusiast car. You know what you, you, you like, you put an order and you get it, you drive it away. Mm-hmm. There's no such thing as like test driving a car. And then I have to think, how many people are test driving any car, any brand new car? Why is it that people are test driving cars? They're brand new cars. Hmm. You a race car? You a race? Are you a race driver? No, you're buying a Civic or a Corolla, or you're buying a Yaris or whatever. You know what? It all drives the same. You press the accelerator, it goes from point A to point B. You press the brakes or whatnot. How much of your decision is based on the the ride quality? Of a Corolla hmm. or a Civic, yeah. Can you afford? Maybe it's nice. I don't know. It, no, there's no reason to. The only reason why you should test drive a car is because mm-hmm. it's a used car, mm. and then you need to know if there's something wrong with a car. If it's a brand new car, it's just like you rubbing your ego. Be like, yeah, I'm gonna really understand like whether this well, car is made smell, for you me. You see the where the air comes from and how it, the how it kind of feels. Let me tell you this: no one should be test driving. So Any what, car you just, underneath thirty thousand dollars. You just they just drop it off and that's your car. That's it. You're like, how much different could it be from the next? Let me tell you this: if yeah. your budget constrains you that you can only afford a thirty thousand dollar car, mm-hmm. then they all drive the fucking same. Wow, this guy over. There's no here. choice. There's no choice. You don't have money to make that choice. I. What if you know? And I'm saying this for me too. I don't test drive cars. Jeez, look at you. <laughs> yeah, you should. Then it's not fun. I never. It, sometimes it it does matter. I think it matters when you have choices. Yeah, I guess okay? so. When, when, when it's up against like Elantras, Civics, mm-hmm. Corollas, and I'm not saying that any of those cars are bad cars. I actually love all of them. Yeah. The, the base Corolla hatchback looks beautiful. Right. Honda Civic, I'm a Honda boy for life. Freaking love Hondas. Mm-hmm. I'm, not, I'm not crapping on any one of these cars. Mm-hmm. They're all fantastic cars. Yeah. What I'm saying is... The, like the experience of you driving that like car somebody who dated for one month or something <laughs> and it's like you know what roughly the same they're all about this height and they're this all hair the color same. they all compete with each they're other all it's like, all the exact friends. same whatever it's all the freaking I'm same i'm just getting one it's fine it's all the same who needs to test drive this for that you long? don't you don't you don't you don't yeah no nah, no nah. right and it, and it's the same thing at the very top no one's gonna be like hey i want to test drive a ferrari no. Bro, you want the Ferrari or no? Mm. That's it. That's all you get to choose. Yeah, I've never seen anybody out on a Ferrari and has that, you know, license plate squished in the back <laughs> where it's just like temporary license plate swinging. It's a Ferrari just zipping down the highway. When you're ready to drop 100000 yeah. you know exactly what car you want. Right. That's it. 
That's it. Decision made. No one's going around to me like, I don't know which Porsche I want. Mm. You want the Porsche that you can afford. That's the one. That's the one you can want. That's it. If you want any other, you got to go afford it. Yeah. That's about it. So if you're thinking of buying a brand new car or leasing it, and you're thinking about going for a test drive. And remember Yasin's voice. Check yourself. He's going to come out you know, slap you. Just go on a go-kart and drive that. And it's about the same. Jeez. Don't waste, don't waste salespeople's time. Anyway, that's all I got to say about that. Let's go to sushi. Yeah. This is episode 333. Thank you for hanging with us. We'll be back in a week. Take care of yourselves. Oh, that was cathartic. I felt great. <laughs> I complained about <laughs> test drivers, and I also complained about Will Smith. It's good. <laughs> Take care of yourselves. Good night. Go.